there's easily 13 to 15 abnormal heart rhythms, that is. So when you're talking about atrial fibrillation, it's not the only abnormal heart rhythm you can have, it's just the most common one. We define abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias as abnormal sources of electricity that form in other walls of your heart separate from the normal source of electricity that's supposed to be controlling your heart. And if you develop an abnormal source, depending on which area of the heart it's coming from, we call them different names. And so atrial fibrillation comes from very specific walls of the heart, and it's the most common abnormal heart rhythm. And it wakes up and makes your heart race and causes symptoms. But there are other abnormal heart rhythms, literally 13 to 15 of them, coming from other walls that can also wake up, take over control of your heart, and make it race and cause symptoms. But it's very important if you have an abnormal heart rhythm problem that a doctor or electrical cardiologist, an electrophysiologist, diagnose which specific one you have because it makes a difference. Some can make your heart go faster and might be dangerous or life-threatening. Some will never make your heart go at a life-threatening speed and just cause symptoms. Some tend to occur more when you're a child because the circuit might be there from birth. Others you develop as you get older with certain other risk factors like atrial fibrillation. So if you have a racing heart rhythm problem, it's up to you to go to your doctor, get the correct diagnosis so it can be treated correctly.